Hi, it's Joanne Same going to watching Supergirl season 6, episode 19, The Last Gauntlet, and this is the penultimate episode ever. I am stressed, I am excited, I am emotional, I am in denial that the show is ending. A reminder that as always you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, and let's go. Oh lord. Oh, awkward. He's too much of a coward to face us in person. Exactly. No, no need to worry, bring me your five, plus the totem still to be found, the destiny totem. Wow. And I will trade you, nerd all tech and superpowers in that area, inert. It is indeed a dead zone. I will bring Can you we believe it? Tomorrow. No, Alex, we can't give Lex and Nixley a totem. We, we can't. can't give them more power. They'll use it against us. We have to at least plan, try and come up with other options. And I agree. If nothing else, if we don't manage to find any other options, then we go. And we can hand it over if there's no other choices. But yes, Kara. Yes, Kara. I know no one else gets hurt by them. Including as me. You just need to trust me, okay? Just trust me. I will. You can trust her. I'm never gonna see my mom's again. Oh my god, this poor girl. Nothing good has ever lasted long for me. No! Oh my god. You take her back right now, fuck your plan. And Nixley, you don't you dare let a higher com harm come to her. We should just cut it out of her while we have I will not let you hurt that little Good! This is the difference between them. Lex would just go in there and murder her if that's what he had to do. I don't see how they're compatible because they're different brands of villain. Is this some sort of setup? You want to <laughs> for yourself? No, I just she want still what's doesn't best for you trust so you. The we and like, best for me is my man doing something I'm quite capable mm -hmm. of doing myself. Plus, I do think like Lex, if he true, I mean, he he was the whole truth hurting thing. He can't be lying, but at the same time, Nixley is not the type of person that a man or anyone coming up to him being like, in the future we're in love. I mean, anybody is going to be like, sure we are. Just he's an idiot. For a genius, he's an idiot. Scared your word that you will not hurt her. I would never betray the woman I love. That isn't answering the question because if he decides that the true betrayal of the woman he loves would be not hurting Esme, he would hurt Esme. They say Esme, don't they? I'm sorry. I just I know that name is Esme. Don't move. <sighs> Lena. Lena, I am a monster. You can behave monstrously. You can behave terribly, but you have to learn to change that. Mm -hmm. I have stood where you are. I have made worse mistakes. A meaningful life. Lena has learned so much and come so far. Even if it means using the stone myself, I will take it. That is the danger. That they could lose themselves in this, but I have such faith in them that their their truth and their hope, the beauty of their souls, will be enough to keep them pure. I don't care. Go away. Our lawyers say you can plead insanity. My love for Nixley is your true destiny is with your family. He does not agree. Your sister. We are powerful and can accomplish. Does she still live in a universe where she thinks that that is possible? That they would work together after everything. Your family or the imp? He's gonna pick the imp. I choose Nixley. Exactly. Whenever you give someone an ultimatum like that, you better be prepared that they're gonna choose what side you don't want them to. My moms. I want to remember them. Oh my god! Well, you were with them. And then he tried to slip my throat. She's tiny! Shut up, Nixley! No! I don't blame you, little one. You can't force it from her. I'm so stressed because Lex, he only promised to not betray Nixley and he'll probably view cutting out of her neck as a not betrayal. I'm stressed. Like, I don't think this show is going to kill Esme, but I just don't want to go through anything else. Alex? I know. I keep thinking how scared she must be. I know. You only promised her that she would never leave us. And what she must be thinking. She so believes in your love for her. That's Alex, just, she's sad and scared that she's lost it. Knowing the truth allows you to deal with it. It's true. Like with us. This episode is hitting hard. We can the future regardless, but knowing allows us to deal with things. I can bring you into the dream room just like I brought Maeve. And we'll face it together. Oh. Together. They deserve a happily ever after. 
And I think they'll find one, but separately. Passes by. Oh. Holy shit. She did it. Alex? What are you doing? Whatever it takes to get my daughter back. Oh, Alex. Does they have a time portal thing? How the hell is she Alex here? He oh, is this the gauntlet? Because how, how did Alex get here? This is the facing her destiny without it. Destiny. I would never forgive myself. And I could never forgive you. Alex wouldn't say that to Kara, right? Are you 100% certain that Lex will hold up his end of the bargain? Are you 100% certain that you... Oh, this is so hard because I'm like, this could be genuine. If Alex steps through a portal and she's got like portal travel, then I will believe that this could be true. But then I also, I know that she, Kara saw the glimpses and then she got the totem, but could this still be part of the gauntlet? Like we're going to have things go horribly wrong because the episode is called The Last Gauntlet. And then towards the end of the episode, it's going to be like, oh, Kara, you passed the gauntlet and it's all fine. But then the other part of me is like, Alex right now is a terrified, grieving mother and she would be saying things like this. I think realistically, she would never forgive herself if something happens to Esme and that probably would ripple out into the people around her but I think if Kara's dedicated to trying to do everything she can to keep Esme safe and that would include making sure the world was safe because it's all well and good if they give Lex and Nixley all the totems get Esme back and then she lives in a war-torn world where she gets killed by a bomb the next week what's the point you know like I think it does matter that there is a world for Esme to be safe in. So this could just be the gauntlet because this, it was like no one is without it. And she saw flashes, which makes me feel like the gauntlet was just her seeing the flashes. And But then it was there and then Alex immediately took it from her. So is this the gauntlet? And am I reading too much into this? Okay, she has got portal tech. Lex is incapable of loving anyone. It's true. Himself. He has a weird... He can be charming with powers. You can't. Possibly even but you can't access those, can you? Are you sure about that? <sighs> mm -hmm. There is some truth to this. Like I know that it was the truth totem that sold it to her. But Lex can't love. Not in a real way. He may think he's in love. But he's still using her because that's what he does. Fifth dimensional magic will have no effect on you. You'd be invincible. It'll take four minutes for the satellite if to this is surgery, possible then you'll be able to find Esme why haven't we done this already is it side effects great why didn't you think of this before it'll take the Sun six months to regenerate no, the Sun is responsible for ocean currents for climate for planet oh my like goodness yeah devastating fix it so oh no 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 that ransom exchange Jesus Christ. I know what I need to do but I need you to keep Nixley out of Esme's room while I access the gauntlet for the love totem very well, sir. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Go to Nixley. You're weirdly her sidekick. Oh, Esme, my sweet girl. I hate this. Stay away from her, you monster. I, I wanted to save you from yourself and what you did to get it in the future. By sneaking behind my back? Mm-hmm. You don't care about me at all. Oof. You just want the totem for yourself. Lillian's blows landed. But we are out of time. No. No. Oh my god. I won't let you harm this child. Fill your heart with love. Cause she was protecting Esme, she got it. I love Toto. She cared about another person right. to bring more than her. Oh, I got you the totem and you you shouldn't be trusted. You're nothing but a foul little man who lies and cheats. This is true. He mind games to get what he wants. I pity you. Agreed. I love you. It's just what I don't understand because their branches of evil are separate. They're different. You know, Lex would kill a child if it came to it. Nixley would never kill a child if it came to it. So there is no universe in my brain where those two could fall in love unless Nixley, by getting her revenge, walked away from the person she is currently, which I suppose could well have happened. Do you like watching fireworks? Oh my god, he's gonna blow the bridge up. Oh, this is real. This feels real. They came! That baby. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ, the sun is actually dimming. Come here, sweetie. 
Oh. Holy shit. Holy shit. The bad man is indeed here. So much for nothing working here! Kara? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Please say this is the gauntlet! If we don't do this, Lex Luthor will do much worse. That's not a good enough answer. It isn't. Drop the remote. I am not gonna tell Like, you. the repercussions of this. I get that we were pushed into a corner, but I don't agree with this. I mean, they're gonna hit civilians! This is the gauntlet. You're scaring people. This isn't you. This is the best way. No, seizing power is what our enemies do. Mm-hmm. We're defined by our choices. Please be the gauntlet. Turn it off. I'm still half convinced it's the gauntlet, and if it's not, then they've just come to a realization about the truth of what they were doing. And I understand how this would have get sent them too far. Okay, maybe it is real, I take it back. But I don't want it to be real because there was an explosion and there is a baby nearby. Guardian. Get out of here! Jesus Christ! She's the first person to actually use the freaking allstone. Oh, angel girl. Oh my god. I am incapable of loving anything or anyone. Lex, you don't go from love to this, do you? So you don't love anything. I love how quickly she's got to grips with his magic. What on earth did you do that for? Why, why are they goblins? That's what happens. Oh, Lena, you don't deserve to have to mourn another mother. You want as shit as that. Why did they turn into goblins? Is it because of the Allstone? If you use it, you become a goblin. Excuse you, it's not the Titans. Drain the world of the very elements the totems oh, represent. Oh, Lord. Soon those things will be lost forever. You're talking truth and... It's not affecting us, why not? They're empowering themselves by disempowering everyone else. Mm -hmm. It's a very literal representation of what a lot of people do in this world. Republicans. <coughs> conservatives. You could fight them with it. You could win. She could. They would drain people. No, no. We can never give up. Oh my god, he's gonna inspire hope in Kara now and she needs it. <sighs> Telling you to embrace your strength. I love him they so much. Make you feel hopeless. He should be president of the world. I know what we need to do. I love you, Kara. That was an amazing penultimate episode. I spent a lot of it wondering whether or not this was all just a gauntlet and all fake. I don't think it was now. I do believe that that was real. It was kind of just some of the decisions seem so big and monumental. And I guess that's partly to do with the fact that Supergirl is ending. You know, we've had them putting a bubble over part of the city and the city being like, oh, we hate this and whatever. You know, I feel as though potentially part of why the show might end might be that Kara is kind of told to stop Supergirling or something. Or maybe she's going to end up giving up her own power so that Nixley can use that instead or something. I don't know. Um... But the whole moment with the sun, with Kara being willing to do that, and I do not blame her. I am so thankful and glad that she recognised what she was doing and stopped, because I don't agree with it as a plan. But I also can totally see why she did that, because things were desperate. They were at their wits' ends. And I don't blame um, Alex and Kelly for just wanting to do the ransom, because all you care about is getting that little girl to safety, and I don't blame them. But some of what she said when she was saying, you know, I'd destroy the world for... Esme 
But like, well, yeah, Esme does need the world. You know, <laughs> she's quite contingent on that. I mean, this is her second planet. She's had to be a refugee. On. Like, I mean, like, come on now. It, it's all well and good to save your child, but if you save your child and then she spends the rest of her life in terror, I obviously you still want to save your child. So I'm not blaming them. And like her saying she would never forgive Kara if Kara's plan hadn't worked. Um, I think that would have come down. That was just her grief speaking. Um and a fear and obviously a love for your child is so different from your love from anybody else but I think the plan that the others had was just as powerful a plan as the one Alex had because Alex's plan worked in the short term but not necessarily in the long term and I feel like the other the rest of their plan might not necessarily work in the short term like maybe they'd keep Esme or something horrible would happen to her though you just have to pray that no villain could actually hurt her but then you've got Alex um, but in the long term it would potentially work because had they just got that all stone had the handover gone smoothly because Lillian hadn't gotten in the way and they Lex and um, Nixley weren't on opposite sides they might well have the all stone now and be rampaging through earth doing god knows what which Kara had seen so I can understand both sides and I can also understand that Alex was at de desperation's point I feel a bit sorry for William because I feel like he died and then we were sad about it for a bit and then he was kind of forgotten and all the rest of the stuff that was going on. He's definitely going to be an important part of Andrea, how she moves Katko forward and how she moves her own choices and her own life forward um, as an inspiration. And I think like Lex's legacy is finally going to be that he's a criminal murderer rather than the nonsense he came up with after Crisis. But poor William. The scenes where Kara was promising they'd protect Esme, the scene where Alex and Kelly were comforting each other, those scenes were so powerful, so well done. Um, part of me was thinking it was going to be the gauntlet just because they were like, the, your gauntlet is just the face, what happens if it goes wrong? If you don't have the, the, the all stone or the totem? And then she saw it for two seconds and then he was like, okay, you've done it. I mean, I, I thought it was going to be more than that because, you know, the second she came out of it, he took it was taken from her. Also, there are so going to be tourists or people saying, oh yeah, I was at that cool ruins of that monastery, of that um, cathedral in Prague and then Supergirl came and nicked a bit of a statue. <laughs> um, oh God. The moment where they came up with the plan with the sun, I don't blame them because they had no other options. The the bridge, the exchange was imminent and there was no way Kara was going to try and fly there and stop Alex from saving Esme. Um, and then they're at this point where you kind of, it is easy to justify in your own minds, I'm going to take on this power and I'm going to do a little bad to stop a bigger bad. But Kara has been a superhero that has not resorted to that kind of measure. This isn't that kind of show. There are some shows where they're like, oh, we're a gritty show. So our heroes know you've got to get your hands dirty sometimes. I don't know why they use that voice, but apparently they do. Whereas this has never been Supergirl. Kara has always been someone that is, she is hope. She is finding another way. That is who Kara is. And the finale is called Kara, I believe. I'm just so excited to see what her plan is. I'm so glad she did stop. And I hope the world isn't too harsh on her on it. When they can see the scale of the problem they're up against, they can see, you know, if Kara's open and honest about things, the truth of why she made that choice that she was beginning to make. Nixley, I like, I, I, I've i never hated, hated Nixley. You know, I very much disliked her at times. Um, but I definitely have always seen her as a different kind of villain to Lex. She is a villain that hasn't totally lost any compassion and goodness. Now, she's doing things that requires zero compassion and goodness. She's not being a good person. She's planning to kill people. I don't like her. I don't support her. She's willing to hurt people on the way to get what she wants. That does not make her a good person. But she and Lex are currently very different kinds of villains. I can only imagine that whenever he met her in a future timeline and she got her revenge, that something about that hardened who she was and changed that within her. This was a powerful episode. Um, Lillian, I don't really care whether she lives or dies, other than the fact that it will clearly upset Lena, because I don't like Lillian. She clearly helped raise Lex. She helped, she contributed to a lot of Lena's struggles that she's had over the years. So the, I guess it's vaguely nice that she was kind to her husband's bastard child, but uh, <laughs> who cares? But for Lena's sake, I do care. And I'm impressed with how quickly she has learned magic. Brainy and Nia were also, like, them going to the dreamscape together and sort of saying, well, at least we can treasure every moment. I love that as well. This was a really good penultimate episode. I'm so excited for the finale, but I can't lie. I'm also terrified because there are so many things that happen. They could decide that they want to pull an arrow and kill Kara. And I did, whew, I barely am okay with the fact that Arrow did that, let alone if they did that with Kara, I, I don't know what I'd do. Or they might decide, oh, Alex is going to die heroically, saving Esme. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking William was it was unusual that William died, so unless they're going to find some way to undo that in this finale, I feel like he's going to be the only death. Um, 
but I am excited. I'm pretty sure there are going to be some familiar faces, so I'm excited. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. Thank you for watching.